Guilford High School. I'm a cheerleader and I plan to attend Illinois State in the fall. Our team was the first this year to ever compete in an IHSA state competition for cheerleading. Um, even though we didn't play, so it was a great time. It was a good learning experience and it was fun to be the first. After qualifying for state, I competed in an all-girl stunt competition at state and my group received third place. And I also made the team for Illinois State, so I'll be cheering there in the fall. Our cheerleading squad is a lot involved in a lot of community service. We've always held our community high. It's one of the bigger parts of the squad. Last year, uh, Belvedere North lost two cheerleaders in an accident, so we helped raise money for the other family that was involved in the accident, the Tellez family, and we were able to come up with $5,000 to present to the child who was involved at his school. I owe all my success to my cheer coach, Shelly McGinley. She's been with me since day one. She actually helped me even in middle school when she wasn't even the cheer coach. She was the assistant, so pick something and stick with it. I, there's been times that I've thought about not cheering, and I'm really glad that I stuck with it. It's been one of the best decisions I've made in my high school career. Logan Tillman East High School. I run track and cross country. I will be attending Northern Illinois University in the fall. Yeah. It's an honor to be nominated. Um, I'm happy to be recognized athletically and especially academically. I've medaled at state for three years, which is a great accomplishment. Um, I've been all conference for three years and I've been sectional champion in the 100 hurdles for three years. Well, I'm a, part, a member of the National Honor Society. I'm a RAM Scholar. I'm, I'm a Nick 10 Scholar Athlete. You know, who do you owe most of your success to? Um, my family, they are, they're really supportive of everything I do and they're always pushing me to work hard not only on the track but in the classroom. Um, I like to thank my first track coach, Coach Cozy. He, he's been with me since I was about nine years old. I would say be focused and be determined. If you have a goal, just work hard to achieve that and don't let anyone stand in your way. Taylor Hoppy, Jefferson High School. I'm a bowler and I'm going to UW-Whitewater in the fall. It's a great honor. Like I've been bowling ever since I was four years old and to be nominated for this, it feels such an accomplishment. Um, some of my most fondest memories are when we would bowl in sectionals and we would either get first or second and we'd make it to state. Then we'd place in state. When we took um, second my freshman year and then my sophomore year we took third and then my senior year we just took third place and I finished sixth individually. That was such an amazing moment. Um, I'd have to say my parents, they've been there for me the whole time and everything. They've supported me with everything and my siblings, my sister and brother and my coaches as well. They've helped me become a better bowler than I am. Um, these are some of my bowling balls. I usually start with this one sometimes. It's called the Vivid. This one's the rhythm. I don't throw it as much. This ball, which is my spare ball, which I pick up on my corner pins. Then there's this one, which is my favorite because it's gold. <laughs> and then my last ball that I use, it's called the Aura. And I got it during high school season and it was my first ball that I shot my first 300 on. And I didn't shoot my 300 in high school, but I shot it at a NIST tournament that we have here every Sunday. And it was just amazing when I shot it. Like the very last ball, I was very nervous, so I dropped it and it came up and it carried the seven. Um, I say just keep practicing at it and always do your best. Even if you're like having a bad game or anything, don't look down, always keep moving forward. My name is Jessica Beard. I go to Auburn High School. I played tennis all four years and I plan to go to Northwestern University in the fall. I work hard at it mostly. I mean, I'm not naturally all that athletic, but I've played it for a long time. So I just try my best and stay at the baseline and hope I don't get hit with the ball. I can lob pretty well. I can lob pretty consistently and pretty deep. A lot of times you hear about people, oh, they did this for sports or they did that for sports, and that's not, some, academics isn't something that usually gets acknowledged. So it's nice to be rewarded a bit for that, for having worked hard in school as well as in my extracurriculars. How do you do this? I took a lot of AP classes and I didn't sleep much. <laughs> Who do you owe the most to? 
My parents, definitely. Because they pushed me to do all well of my work, but they didn't push me too hard. They never expected more than they thought I could give. And so it was a helpful pressure rather than a stressful one. And they've just done that all my life. I think it's just a lot of hard work and being able to prioritize and maybe choosing some time to do your work instead of going on Facebook and just finding something to enjoy in what you're doing.